Now we're not ending, we're just getting started, <laughs> literally speaking. We have a star with us in the studio this morning. You've probably seen him on reality TV show twice. You've seen him in movies, in commercials. Now we've captured him. He's right here with us in our studio. Shea Awolo is here, he's an actor, reality TV star, entertainer. Let me just add this one grandchild of the <laughs> same chief of Bafemi Aolo. Well, I had to sure, put that in. So I'm sure you morning. get that all the well, time. The morning break. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for having You're me. Blushing, Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? The pre-introduction, <laughs> before this introduction, I mean, <laughs> this is, yeah, well, I really appreciate it. I know you so get much. this a lot, really. Uh, what, what is it like combining all of that? You were in the reality TV show, been in movies, commercials, and then there's that weight Ah, Chief Oba for me, Olo's grandchild. Ah, 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 ah. So all of that on you. First, how do you how do you juggle all of that? Uh, first is first is first. I'm grateful because I mean it's not everybody that is would I say opportunity to be in such a situation. It has it's it, it's a double edged sword. There are the pros and the cons, but I'm still grateful for it because of what I what I aspire for in life. Okay, so the. <laughs> The journey is what, more or less, you just explain the journey of my life, coming from my lineage, my grand, my family, up until now, this entertainment, because, I mean, when you see Anna Wolo, you'd be like, he's meant to be, he's book smart, only just books, but not really, I, I really enjoy the silver screen. You're not book smart? No, I am. Okay. <laughs> just to be clear. Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. you yeah. grandchild or great-grandchild? Grandchild. Your grandchild? Yes. Because a lot of people think you're a great-grandchild. Oh, I'm grandchild. Okay. I'm the last born from my dad, so yeah, I'll, I tend to look like right. that. So you're the last of the sec, uh, the, the yeah, I'm the last grandchild of that generation. Yes, number twenty. Yes, twenty oh. of twenty. <laughs> okay, there's a lot. <laughs> that, that makes it complicated. Yeah, the twentieth grandchild <laughs> and the tenth child from my father. Okay. You, you said something about, you know, the expectations from the Aulo was, you know, that they expect them to be book smart, they expect them to be in politics. Uh, do you feel that pressure, you know, to, to want to tow that path, particularly politically? To a certain degree, yes. To be honest, I, I would have loved not to get into that part of it, but with the way it, it seems in the country right now, it's as if I, I might have to. I don't know, I just have liked to enjoy being on the backbone and entertainment. You, you might as, have to. Yeah, I mean, I Why? do. Because I have a family that I'm looking forward to them growing in this country. I'm not trying to jack my. Mm. I want to experience Nigeria. Let them experience Nigeria the way I experienced Nigeria. You know, being able to enjoy the full 36 states, go anywhere you want to, interact with any kind of, any tribe, anybody at all. Just be a Nigerian in your country. Not, you know, not being limited to certain conditions or policies that can change at any time in another person's country so in the long run i just might have to but i'm hopeful that the people in power will get it right and i might not have to but let's see how it goes there's so, one more so, out of patriotism yes so so i i wanted to find out because uh, you know they say nigerians like the grass to grace story but you're coming into this story it's literally glass house grace oh, to wow. grace. <laughs> you know, i didn't even call it grace glass house is walking is a walking glass house like hit me and something will happen so when you walk into this let's say the reality tv shows or in, into set and the all one name pops up do you feel that people look at you in a certain way have certain expectations of you does that affect you in any way psychologically because it could for some people how do you manage all of that let's build the conversation from that okay so well yes and no the yes part being it's a normal thing for me since when i was a kid Oh, my Olo, ah, the John of Olo, yes, he's this kind of boy. That's how he's supposed to be, yeah. You know, ah, oh, can't wait to that here. They're going to read book like your grandfather. <laughs> they really sound like that. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, that was me younger and older people always saying that to me. So that was one thing. And then coming into entertainment space, people were asking, ah, what are you doing here? Exactly. Something works for you. You don't need it. Well, I need to define my own self, my own name. It is my own journey, because in our own home, we're told that we have a really huge, we have really huge shoes to fill. The size of those shoes are really large. The shadow cast is immense. He's on currency. In almost any state, or every state, he has a name, a street named after him. How do we intend to catch up to, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that we have to literally put in to get up to that. So, for me, it's, a, like I said, it's a bit of both. It just, the negative side, I more or less use it to fuel myself that I can do it, I can attain, I can be known widely. 
the down the other good part is my support system being my family as well my immediate family being my wife and my child and then my brothers and sisters are we are we are knitted together in a way that regardless of how down they even can tell whenever i'm feeling down when they are having a uh, this guy i know okay what's up talk to me and i really appreciate them for that it's not as if we are always on good terms but they always know when to help me out of my dark situation so i'll just say i'm fortunate to be able to balance it out right even my cousins because i have a lot of older cousins that have been in places of power and so from time to time i reach out uh, i need your advice with this i know i'm a stubborn boy i have coconutted i know what help <laughs> and for the for the love i'm so grateful that they always come through for me and i think one of the roles uh, and i'm talking about your work now yeah as an actor one of the roles i remember you playing was in the brotherhood right you were the you know your character i don't want to put out spoilers there if you've not seen the movie you should catch it but it was quite an interesting role and i see that you are uh, branching out into uh more challenging roles in in the in the movie uh, scene a lot of people have a certain way they see you Ajabota, Omomomi, in case if you don't speak your it just means a touch person <laughs> in that sense. But seeing you play that role in the movie shocked a lot of people thinking, is this Shei? What's going on? So I've talked to us about uh, your, your, the future for you in, in Nollywood and perhaps Hollywood as well, because clearly there's a lot of story from here that is selling in the world and I see a lot of partnership going on. So talk to us about what this year is looking for you, what kind of roles we should expect. We we'll still come to what happened in Big Brother. Mm. But first, let's talk but about your career. Then <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go to that. Okay, so uh, first things first, I'd like to appreciate Jade Shibaru for giving me the opportunity to play that role. Because, I mean, I played that role, and I'm grateful. People are still talking about it even months after. Uh, I mean, the trade, this industry is something I've always loved since I was a child. I always loved movies, cartoons, and I've always been a huge fan of the big screen. So becoming somebody else or trying to portray another character is something that kind of has been there in me from time. So coming into the movie industry, I started off as a model. I was always, I, I modeled for a number of brands and then I started branching out because the number of people that I used to model with back then also started acting as well. That's the likes of my senior colleagues, Kune Remy, Aiki Obona, and a bunch of other people who started. So uh, at first I was like, nah, nah, not yet. But then with time, I started, it, I was good at it. A lot of my friends were like, this guy, you can easily become, you can easily bring out any character. So why not delve into this? And then I started. And when I first started, it was more or less like, ah, he's going to that lover boy role. Uh, yeah, like you said, oh, my mommy. Uh, that's the only roles I got cut. But and I told my management, I, you know, I would like to play things that are far from who, every, like how I easily get stereotyped. I mean, can I play a tout or a villain? I don't mind villainous <laughs> roles. Let me be the bad guy. Mm, that you are. Being the lover. Well, I'm not a bad guy, but I can't be the bad guy. You I can't be. You admitted that you're, you're okay, I know I'm stubborn. Uh, uh, it's on that uh, premise that I was, <laughs> no, I I was just joking. I can't be the bad guy, but I mean. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, more, it, actually, to play, the, to play a villain in a movie, I think it would be more fun than okay. really. Because being a good guy, I would say for me, is my normal everyday life. If I'm to, if I'm to answer honestly, it's my wanting to help out my own workers. Okay, let me help you cut the paper. Okay, let's do that. That's just me. But now, being a villain in a movie will be something that will take me out of my comfort zone. Because I need to research the character. I need to understand where the person's from, how the person talks, and all this kind of thing, and bring it all together with also my own touch of my own personality. So that's its own challenge that I'm looking forward to, and that's the fun bit of the trade for me. And I'm also looking to work with a lot of producers because these guys are talented in different ways. The way they see the stories, the way they, the directors express it, is these are, they are learning curves for me because hopefully I, I pray that I grow to become a producer in Hollywood over time. That's after I've gotten my rite of passage through the industry well enough. So, you know, this year is slow. I'll be honest. I started off slow. I've not really gotten. I've not even got any scripts just yet. Being hopeful that the you know the year plays out fine, but hopefully I ho I hope that I get enough villainous roles and maybe one or two, maybe lover boy roles. But I don't think the missus will really like that. <laughs> boy part. I know, right? Because you have to do all of these scenes, kiss it. Yeah. Does your is she comfortable boy. with that? 
whose missus is comfortable? Well, mm. some missuses are, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> She's not watching, don't worry. We She's don't not watching. Right? We don't have we to tell her. We tell her. We tell her. Who, 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 who is not watching? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's supposed to be on the wall fighting not the missus? <laughs> so I, 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 I would just, okay, because I wanted to ask him a question. Just go ahead. Uh, before oh, oh, well, I, I, I also have a question as far as the Awolowa legacy is concerned. But wow. Before, I, 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 allow him before breathe. Before we, Let him breathe. <laughs> no, 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 let, let's go to Big Brother. Oh. You know, we're in relation yet again to um, the dynasty, so to speak. Uh, what was the feedback that you got? You know, did you get that? Oh, how can he be in Big Brother? You know, the grandson of our law. And how did you process it? Oh yeah, so the first time, yes, I got that a lot. Like, how my whole what are you looking for there? And my experience, is, excuse me, I'm on my hustle. I'm grinding. I'm in the entertainment industry. I need to increase my popularity in so that my rate card, I can be able to get good pay. I can be able to get more jobs. So that's why I'm there. I'm not a lawyer. I am not a I'm not a known politician. I don't what have did you study psychology. No way. All right, so yes. Okay, go on. Yes, I, I, I won't do this right now. Go ahead. <laughs> don't even go there. I, I know where you wanted to go. I know where you wanted to go. Don't, don't, don't do it. Please, please don't go there. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so, so uh, what was, what was, I kind of lost my train of thought. Mm. So, People wondering what brother, are you doing Yeah, there, what was yeah. I doing now? I needed to go there and increase my pop, improve my popularity, improve my stance in the industry. Although, yes, one or two, my mom in particular was not a fan of you that first time. Like, why are you going to the, Why are you going there? No, I, I like my mother. <laughs> I have bigger fish to fry. I can't still be using my small tuke tuke stove to be finding mm -hmm. big fish to fry. I said I had to go. We almost had a fallout, but my family, my other brother, were like, the boy has to do what he has to mm. do. I went for it, came out nicely. Second time again, I was skeptical about going the second time, but my wife, my team, my family were like, why not? You did it the first time you came out unscathed. Why not? It's not like you're not a quitter now. If he came to you, it's because you deserve it. That's why I went again. So it's, for me personally, the Awolowa part, yes, I know I have that. That's why I, I, I know how I was brought up. I know what my own bring, upbringing is like, and it's always in the back of my head every time and everywhere I'm at. But you didn't quite come out on skate the second, in the second time. Oh, no, I did not. Those comments you made, mm. uh, I mean, it, it drew lots of vitriol, a lot of people. In fact, we had the, uh, the, the Lagos agency speaking about that. You since apologized, but uh, talk to us, what exactly what, what were the factors that contributed to you making that statement? Because for a lot of people, they saw that and they went, no, 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 you don't do that. It's not on that, on that stage as who you are, yeah. particularly mm -hmm. this time where we're fighting this battle. So maybe you could give us the, uh, the factors that... Maybe for those, uh, just to add, for those who did not watch, yeah. Maybe you can also say, maybe not necessarily say, so you don't offend more people. Yes. <laughs> uh, just course. maybe say what it was and then build the response uh, to carry this question. Yeah, okay, so on the said day, um, pertaining to what I said, it was, I uh, believe, a Friday, a Thursday evening or a Friday evening event. Now, I don't, I'm not going to say this, I'm not going to put this as if this is an excuse as to why, regardless of the fact I was under the influence. No, I would, that influence is, I, would, I tend to think of it as cowardice. I'm not going to say I was under the influence because literally in the house, the house had gotten to me one. The pressures in the house, the energy in the house had already gotten to me at this point in time, which was part of the supposed social experiment okay. or the game. It had, I was already under that and I was angry. My emotions were on my sleeve. Now, that's one part. Another thing was, <clears throat> there was a kind of mindset in the house, because we that are in the house have the way we are viewing it different from how everybody else outside is viewing it. And I would like to be careful with my opinions or my, my ideas about what was going on, but some of those, those things are things I, I don't agree with. I wasn't brought up that way, I wasn't trained that way, and I don't see things happening that way. Uh, in order to be careful still because of social media cancel culture. I'm not trying to talk down on anybody, but there were a lot of, looking for a good word, things that did not equate to value. And these same people that believe that they had this value portrayed it wrong and were on the wrong side of it. Making it seem as if money is, that is the height of everything and there isn't supposed to be other values. You're not supposed to be articulate. You're not supposed to have poise or charm. Mm. And all these kind of things are flawed. I grew up in a time when having a conversation with a girl, I had to remember lyrics from a song, from an old school, just to be able to charm her. But now it's as if 
chivalry is all dead. It's all about, let me cry in a G-Wagon, mm. either than being a Kekena pep. That's, if that's, that's the, the message that's being passed out there. And that's wrong. I don't believe that that should be how we... Our women are the most powerful beings on the planet. They bring life. Even we men don't bring life. We can build things, but we don't build, we don't carry life. That is the most valuable being on the... Women are our most valuable. So we come in and out here and I'm a misogynist. I'm like, what? How? No. I was angry. What I said was wrong. The word I used in particular yeah, okay. was very wrong. Even till today, I'm not even sure how to coin that statement properly mm -hmm. without offending anybody. That Please add more value than looking at monetary value. Because if you're thinking money, there's someone that always has money. If you say, ah, two million naira, there's someone that has 22 million nairas at his disposal for every month's jolly. What if that person is now a villainous person? What then happened? Look at the kind of things that are happening abroad with um, abuse cases or uh, these lists, they just dropped a certain list of celebrities that have been doing that they were going to a particular island. Is it the Epstein? Yes, the right. Epstein list. I'm just trying to be careful so I don't mm. say the wrong so, things. Uh, yeah. The Epstein list. These are, this I would say as a result of the, the devaluation of women or children in the long run, because people just got used to, let's, let's just leave it, it will pass, don't worry, this thing. But no, we need to address it. The value, we need to, we need to value ourselves more. Uh, a beautiful, a brilliant, beautiful woman that comes outside, her outfit is less than one yard. Of course, a man is going to come down, come to you and speak less or speak down. It's not a matter, of, I don't think, he's brilliant enough to know not to, but your ha dress how you want to be addressed. It's part of the things I was taught no. as a child. <clears throat> you know, act in All a right. manner that you would like to be treated so that they treat you that way. Carry yourself with a type of poise so that when people come up to you, they know that this is the kind of person you are but not the one that you act lowly and demand a high respect from someone that is even trying to be careful, like, where do I have a balance with you? So in that moment, I was really angry at a lot of things all in one. Oh, yeah. It was just an explosion of emotions. I really am sorry right. for that, for the word I use. It was a particular word and I really do regret that word, but that was not my intention. Right. I was just trying to say that People need to add, they need to put more value on themselves, see them as they are the prizes, not the monetary or the material. Yeah. They themselves are the prizes. Great point. Well, not just a great point, you know, it, it's a cause for a thing for a lot of women who tie their validation. And, you know, it's, it's, it's good, you know, for the way that their men see them. So when this is coming from a man, women, you need to reconsider some of your choices. Coming from Shea all over. Yeah, Let, let's be clear. Especially Even though a lot of people still have it with Big Brother. Yeah. Even, yeah. You've seen that issue, right? Yeah. People say, what kind of social experiment is this? Yeah. It doesn't go with our culture. Why are we watching this? Uh, it's not helping our children and adults. Uh, well, you know, the Big Brother the, is actually a proper social experiment that can be used okay. in different ways, if you ask me. It just depends on the producers and the message they want to pass. So I should, should keep, keep working depending on it. On it well, I'm not going to say they should. It brought me to stardom. Yeah, it opened a lot of doors for me. So I'm not going to say I want to shut it down for other people that would right. like but, to come but to But should life. they reduce that content that people consider not so proper? Yes. All right. That's it. Hello, hello. Reality TV star. Let's I want to call him right. a businessman. <laughs> uh, let's add that part. Businessman. Uh, reality TV star, what, what list do you have? Villain. Actor. Villain. No. Villain. Okay, yeah, actor. Yeah, 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 like actor. That's more. That's more. Actually, yeah. We bully the other ones. Chair, uh, almost. thank you for coming on the program. It was a thank pleasure. you so thank much. You so. Uh, quite articulate, and you made your point very clear. I'm, I'm sure people have been apologizing to they've heard you. I uh, hope so. Yeah, and heard we you. hope to get you back on the program yeah, so that I can ask that question. Uh, when you get that role, please call us. Almost definitely. Yeah, we'll bring you in. All right. Thank you. All right. Shea Olo, a reality TV star, actor, and a model, as well as, uh, you know, he has a lot of heritage on him. He's trying to unmask and un 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 reveal it as much as he can within the space he's found himself. Thank you for coming on the program. My pleasure. So All right. that's it on the program. What a Because now we're done. <laughs> yeah. Because so this, this, we're this done. no longer April Fool's. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we're actually done. Thank you so much for being there. Join us again, same time tomorrow, when we we'll bring you another robust conversation. I am Bukola Koka. For a moment, I thought she was saying next week, but she said tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'm Jeffrey Ozawa. Hey, anyway, I'll get count. you after the program. <laughs> Have a fantastic day. Well, our phone continues afterwards. So let's get yeah. the conversation ongoing. Hashtag CTV Morning Brief. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.